a bounty hunter whose dreams far exceeded his grasp, the green-skinned, foul-smelling Greedo managed to rack up more enemies than friends during his short life. But his last mistake was trying to collect the bounty on Corelli and smuggler Han Solo. Greedo wasn't very bright, but he wanted to be a hunter in the worst way. He succeeded. Greedo was a Rodian, from the planet Rodia in the Tarias star system. The Rodians consider bounty hunting an honored profession and a fabulous sport, and prizes are awarded to the hunter with the most captures or kills. The only dishonorable thing for a Rodian hunter to do is patting a catch driving up a bounty by allowing the prey to commit more crimes, even after they had been located. The Rodian Council of Justice frowned on such activities. In a more violent time on Rodia, Greedo's bounty hunter father was murdered and his riches seized. His pregnant wife, Nila, took three-year-old Greedo and left the planet with her older brothers, Nock and Tiku. Other members of the more peaceful Rodian clan, known as the Tetsus, came as well, and the refugees fled in three large sil. Ver spaceships. They relocated to a jungle world and began life anew. When he was 15 years old, Greedo and his younger brother, Pquiduk, discovered the trio of spaceships hidden in a mountain cavern. He asked his mother about them, and she told him of his violent heritage. A month and a day later, the same. Rodian who had slaughtered Greedo's father finally tracked the Tetsus down. The invaders began mowing down the settlers. The two brothers ran to the caves, along with their mother, two uncles, and twenty other clan members. They escaped in two of the ships, the third was destroyed. Nock piloted the Radian through hyperspace to the port moon of Nar Shaddaa, where the survivors made their new lives in the Corellian sector. Greedo grew to be an adult, working with his brother in the bustling districts of level 88. He had become streetwise, learning petty thievery and black market tactics. One day, Greedo witnessed two bounty hunters, Spurch Warhog Goa and DYYZ Nataz, killing a rogue Imperial Spice Inspector. When the two hunters were attacked by a towering cyborg named Gorm, Greedo managed to save their lives by killing Gorm. When the deadly duo cut the Rodian in on the bounty, he decided to help them, tipping them off to a cluster of rebels hiding in another part of level 88. With the Imperial reward, Greedo planned to buy an Incom Corsair ship from the mechanic Shugnix. He planned to call it the Manco Hunter. Every bounty hunter needed a great ship, he had decided. While he was inspecting his ship to be, Greedo couldn't resist stealing a pair of new Deck 6 power couplings. Unfortunately for him, he was caught by the huge Wookiee. Known as Chewbacca, the decks were for the Millennium Falcon. When Han Solo took his ranker skin jacket as restitution, Greedo threatened him. Greedo became Warhog Goa's apprentice, learning the bounty hunting trade from a master. He was soon to learn the error of his ways. When the Imperials attacked the rebels on level 88, the fighting was intense. Greedo barely escaped with Goa and DYZZ in their ship, the Nova Viper, before an entire quarter of the Corellian sector exploded in a flash. Greedo realized with a heavy heart that his family was dead, and he was responsible. The trio of hunters fled to Tatooine, where Goa and Greedo hooked up with Jabba the Hutt. The obese crime lord was fond of Rodian hunters, they were ruthless, they worked cheaply, and they made great rancor snacks if they fell out of his favor. Working for Jabba would be a perfect way for Greedo to increase his status and his power as a bounty hunter. When Jabba awarded Greedo the exclusive bounty contract on Han Solo's head, the Rodian saw the galaxy opening to him, the Corellian was a heady prize. Greedo waited for Solo in Chaman's cantina. As the Rodian steeled himself, there was a disturbance at the bar, an old man using a lightsaber had attacked an Aqualish and an ugly humanoid. When Chewbacca escorted the old man and a fresh-faced farm boy BDCK to Solo's table, Greedo grew more nervous. Two stormtroopers walked through the bar, and as they left, Greedo noticed that Solo and Chewbacca were alone. 
Then Chewbacca got up and left. Marching up to Solo, blaster drawn, the Rodian demanded the credits Han O Jabba. If he could get the credits out of Solo, then kill the smuggler, Greedo could be paid twice for the one bounty. Sure of himself, the Rodian kept his blaster trained on Solo, who seemed remarkably unafraid. The Corellian smug attitude angered Greedo, but before he could threaten Solo further, the spacer shot a blaster from under the table, killing Greedo instantly. It was then that Wilher the bartender got a fiendishly clever idea he recovered Greedo's body and took it below, where he and his new droid, C2R4, used the Rodian's flesh and blood in their still. The resulting liquor was the most powerful pheromonal drink Wilher had ever tasted the bartender was sure Tai Jabba the Hutt would pay handsomely lure the drink. If he could have withstood the intense flavor, Wilher would have hoisted a second drink to salute Greedo, the greatest tasting Rodian bounty hunter of all time. Once a student of the